Hey people, it is me, Duke C T. And um you look over there. Um um <laughs> that is my really big Tune Ace Anniversary 2014 review upload to Rise of the Critics dot com. I will hopefully after uh, it'll take at least uh, at least two or three hours, so that's gonna be uploaded to that site and and I'm going to be uploading that in Zipcast and Daily Motion soon, so I'll give you the links. The trailer, the YouTube trailer, will be uploaded hopefully by the uh, end of the night. So I'll post that stuff up there, and you know, just in case it gets kicked off of Daily, uh, Daily Motion for whatever reason, it will be you know on Rise of the Critics and on Zipcast. So you know, backups. We always have the backups. <laughs> anyway, uh, the reason why I'm making this video uh, because, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't heard the news, I was I just heard it. Um, WWE.com is reporting that Roman Reigns um, had a emergency surgery for a, a hernia, and he is going to be out for six weeks at best. So, wow, this is really this is a shocking thing because he had a lot of momentum. I mean. He was fighting against, uh, he, you know, his first major singles match was against him um, in a fatal four way with uh, Cena, Kane, and Randy Orton for the WWE World title. He faced Randy Orton at SummerSlam. And Cena, he was moving to Roman Reigns, and I think he was going to move up to face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania or Daniel Bryan or, or, or what have you. Uh, it looked like it, that was going to happen. But now, it looks like it's not going to. I mean, he has a lot of momentum, and you know. And I looked up the sports earlier to see how long it's going to be. Uh, it usually takes like six weeks to get like you know become 100 percent healthy. Now, I honestly think he's going to need to um, um, take a couple more days. I mean, uh, you know, take a couple more. Um, uh, <laughs> you know, a couple weeks off to get himself back. You know, back again and uh, to be a hundred percent. So he might come back before. Well, I mean, six weeks is a pretty long while. And um, at earliest, he might be come back like around Survivor Series. And um, and that's a lot of lost momentum. I I don't know what's going to. Uh, I don't know how this is going to affect him. I mean, they might hold him off to the Royal Rumble and. You know, then again, you have Daniel Bryan. He might come back. So I don't know what the hell the WWE is going to do. It looks like it's going to be. A, it's a bit of a mess here. It's a. It's a huge mess. And and look at what the WWE, the the the, the um, the, the main event roster of the WWE right now. Cena is nagging injuries. I hope. I mean, after this match with Brock Lesnar, I hope he doesn't win. Because hopefully he can find take the break. He might he might not afford to take a break right now because all these guys are getting hurt. Him, uh, you know, you know, <laughs> uh, Roman Reigns. You have um, Daniel Bryan getting injured. Uh, you have, you know, <laughs> you have. I think Chris Jericho is going to leave after Night of Champions. I don't know if they're going to have him stay a couple weeks, but that's just another band aid. Randy Orton. I think I heard that he wants to take a couple couple of time, weeks off or something, that's why I'm hearing. I could be wrong, but Randy Orton might be, I think he's going to, I heard he wants to take a break or something, but that's not the case. He's going to, I think he, again, he's another Band-Aid. I don't think he's, should, honestly, Randy Orton, he's already, I mean, even though he's so young, Randy Orton has, I think he's peaked. He, he has peaked and I don't think he's going to be the number one guy. I mean, I think he's not really that number one guy anymore. You know, he could have been the number one guy, but thanks to Triple H and the background of politics, you know. Um, also, who else is that? Brock Lesnar comes in every other day. And Dean Ambrose, he's way not ready. He has still with Seth Rollins when he comes back. I heard he's going to be coming back right at Night of Champions or right the day after. So, I don't know what is going to be. I don't know what's going to be the um, 
solution. I don't know what's going to happen for the main event because there's a lot of unknowns here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it looks like it's going to be a very tough hole for a uh, tough road to hoe for the WWE for a while. And I hope, and I hope they have some plans. I hope they have some good backup plans because if they don't have any good backup plans, and when I have a feeling that, God forbid, with them, Randy, with, with uh, Roman Reigns being taken out like this, I would not be surprised <laughs> that John, I would not be sorry if they say, you know what, the Brock Lesnar experiment, that, we got crushed that, we have John Cena win the title. I would not be surprised if that happens at Night of Champions. But hey, I could be wrong. But anyway, Roman Reigns is going to be out for indefinitely for six weeks. And when he comes back, I don't know. How, I mean, but you know, this could be a blessing in disguise. He was, you know, he was felt only, you know, he was, I think he was getting too far. I think he was rushed too far. Now maybe, you know, have him fight in the mid card. You know, have him win the US or Intercontinental title and just destroy people, build himself up, get a repertoire with the fans, get a, and 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 there you go, you have that main eventer. Or start really building everyone else around you. You can't I mean the WE can't afford to do this, I mean, anymore. They can't. Especially with the WE network. Especially when they have I mean let's be honest here, a lot of people are not going to um, continually uh, renew their subscriptions if they see John Cena still winning pay-per-views over and over again. In fact, the only thing they're going to probably look at is WrestleMania and probably that's it. Because that's... Because, hey, the WWE needs to make new stars. They need to rebuild. They should have stopped rebuilding years ago. They're in rebuilding mode now. That's why, you know, this stuff could their pants down right now. But, who knows? Um, this could be a positive thing. Hopefully, Roman Reigns can come back, <clears throat> come back and become much more of a dominant uh, figure, um, building himself up, and also start building everyone else around. You know, Cesaro, uh, Ziggler, uh, see, uh, help Sandow. You know, guys like that. And that's my hope. Anyway, I could be wrong. And this Duke, uh, anyway, this Duke CT here. Peace and love. Uh, Duke CT uh, Lounge will be uploaded hopefully later on tonight. And um, last of you are standing, the 20th review will be up. Hope, and hopefully, at Rise of Critics tomorrow, uh, Monday, because they have this little thing over Rise of Critics. They, um, they have like you know, you know, they wait a day for uploads. Uh, you know, just to make sure to keep the site clean, but it will be up there. It will be up there. Um, 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 it will be live, hopefully, by Monday. That's my hope um, to get this uh, review, because I do hope that it will be up there. It would be nice. It would be great. And, um, and also, I will have the Zipcast and the daily, um, and the stuff on Daily Motion. Just in case Daily Motion starts going crazy again and starts deleting my videos, I don't know why. It just uh, kind of happened to um, um, uh, Dubious Khan over at um, it, uh, the Idiot Box. So I'm linking in the description. Check this video out. It's awesome. Um, and also, I need to tell them about Zipcast and Rise of the Critics. I mean, I, I think you will appreciate um, you know uploading this stuff on there. I mean, seriously, it's a good place to if you do reviews and such. It's nice to have a backup, and Rise of the Critics is a definitely good backup. Uh, anyway, um, Duke C. Tia, peace and love. I already did this. <laughs> All right, peace, love. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Later.